Okay, so this place specializes in mixing alcohol and coffee drinks together. And I don't know what that's about. I've never been in a situation where I needed to be a little bit a little bit drunk and energized at the same time. But in a weird way it makes sense. Like maybe you're at work and you need to stay awake, but also you're very stressed and you need to calm down. So it could just be a recipe for a heart attack. I'm only gonna try this once, I think. She's right, it comes off as like a dessert. It doesn't come off that weird. I thought it just wouldn't mix. I thought it wouldn't mix very well. It'd just be kind of weird. I can taste the whiskey or something like that. I can taste the whiskey or something, the alcohol. It's like um, ice cream uh, milk tea. It's yummy. It's good. I barely briefly researched this place on Google Maps and I didn't know what kind of place this would be if it's just a nasty place. But it's not. It's um <laughs> it's kind of hipster, it's kind of modern. And uh, the drink's actually pretty good. It's not gross. It's sweet and very alcoholic at the same time. And it mixes pretty well. And it looks like a normal drink so you could hide it. If you came to work with one of these, nobody would know that you're getting drunk. <laughs> so Joni's is the mocha brandy and I tasted that one. Hers is more just sweet. You don't really know that you're drinking. But mine, the caramel macchiato, it's, uh, you know what you're doing. It tastes mostly like alcohol with some coffee flavor. Mine is more uh, sweet. You can taste the whiskey here. It's like um, chocolate uh, milk tea, like that. Sweet and yeah, yummy. I like that. So we're in this kind of restaurant park. Everybody has their own little shipping container looking thing. private event. Heaven is empty. It's so sad. No one is in heaven. A lot of empty chairs in heaven. They have old restaurant containers and new ones. It's kind of interesting. I don't know how long this place has been here. So far my experience with Mexican and the Philippines is they're still trying to figure it out. Maybe they'll never figure it out because it's very far away from North America and Mexico.
what's your score on the not just coffee, the alcoholic coffee? Just as far as drinks go, what's your opinion? Um, it's not super like taste um, alcohol, whiskey. I can taste the whiskey here. I taste like chocolate, sweet. Probably I'm not drunk because it's sweet. I rate here um, 8 out of 10. It's really good. I agree. I think it's kind of a gimmick. I don't think you can actually get drunk on mm -hmm. coffee unless you add a whole lot more alcohol than that. But yeah. It's a fun gimmick and it actually tastes good. Correct. Yeah. Exactly. And the bartender uh, not put a lot of whiskey on my drinks. <laughs> <laughs> so it's so, fun. It's, uh -oh. not, it's not about serious alcoholism or drinking. It's more about yeah, it's, the taste. It's like a normal coffee. You can taste of a whiskey here mixed on my coffee. Taste is like chocolate, sweet. And 100% I'm not busy or something. I'm not drunk. Yeah, that's like 16 ounces, you drink it really fast. Mm. But it tastes good, it I like that. I agree, it tastes good, but it's not like uh, taking a shot. Yeah, and I like that place. The place is super quiet, nice, clean, and it's because of week, week, uh, weekdays, that's why there are lots, not, uh, no lots of customers here. So, I like that. This guy has two dates. Two girls, one boy. And they're all looking into each other's eyes. So in America, specifically Tennessee, where I'm from, the Delta 8 cannabis, it's really hemp, just became legal. And you can get these little gummies, and they're super powerful. Like, one gummy is too much for me. So, like, if at work I'm kind of stressed or the boss said something that stressed me out, I can take half a gummy, and it's plenty. It takes the edge off. I relax. It's kind of like, uh, if you never tried it before, it's like... It's soothing. It's like getting in a hot tub and you, or a hot warm bath or something and you're like, ah, oh, I feel better. And maybe you feel a little sleepy if you take too much. It's not like alcohol. It's a little different feeling than alcohol. But I'm wondering if this is the same idea. Like the coffee keeps you awake. I didn't explain that very well. If I took too many of those gummies, I would drink like espresso, like a strong coffee to keep me awake. So I'm relaxed and awake at the same time. I'm wondering if this is the same idea. This is new to me. The coffee keeps you awake so you can keep working, but the alcohol makes it to where you're not stressed. I don't know. Maybe somebody that's more experienced can explain it. <laughs> So the beef is here first. Does it taste Mexican? I have been to Mexico. And of course there's lots of Mexican in the United States. It kind of does. But in Mexico they would try, they would call this something totally different. They would call it barbacoa there. Barbacoa is what this is called, but just translates to barbecue. It tastes like Mexican barbecue. It really does. It's kind of authentic. Mm. Mm. It's kind of authentic. It's the first time in the Philippines I tasted anything that kind of tastes Mexican. The shell's a little bit soggy compared to what I had in Mexico. It's a little bit soggy, the shell, but it tastes good. The beef is juicy. The beef is juicy. It's yummy. Mm. 
So, papioli, good job. It tastes like Mexican. The flavors of Mexico are actually kind of preserved here. It's amazing. Good job. But if a Mexican came to visit, he would say, this is called barbacoa. Call it barbacoa. Came with the gravy. I'm pretty sure that's what you have to do with it. Anyway, great job. It tastes Mexican. Mm. And it's got a lining on the bottom of stringy cheese. It's kind of hard to see. Mm -hmm. It's got that stringy cheese on the bottom. It makes it more fun. And then, just a suggestion to the owner if you're watching this, there's no Mexican beer anywhere. There's no um, Tecate, there's no Modelo beer. That would be a big plus to have the flavors of Mexico here, is to bring in some Mexican beers. I see Korean soju, I see Jose Cuervo, I think, is Mexican, I think. But not very common. I see Smirnoff Mule, I see Jack Daniels, I see Jägermeister. Some Chinese beers and uh, Filipino beers, but no Mexican beers. That would be a big plus to have some Mexican beers here. Okay. So the first one we had a crunchy corn tortilla. This one's a flour tortilla. Nice. And I don't know what the sauce is, if it's a aioli, like a fancy mayo or a cheese, I don't know. Here we go. Okay. All right, so this is fish tacos. It said beer battered, which is not particularly Mexican, but there's lots of variety. Lots of new stuff, trendy stuff in Mexico, so it might be Mexican. Let's try. Good. It's unbelievably spicy. I don't know if you're going to like this one. It's ridiculously spicy. Yeah, that's why I told you, you first. <laughs> It's not a Mexican flavor I'm used to, if it is Mexican. I've never had anything like this. The batter is not a typical Mexican batter. The sauce maybe tastes like chipotles, which is a Mexican ingredient, but it's not done in the style of anything Mexican I've had. And it's just really spicy, the sauce. Smell color. You can't win them all when you're this far from Mexico. The first one was an A+, plus, I would say for location. Maybe quality, it was a B, because the taco shell was kind of soggy. But it tasted really good. But this one, there's nothing Mexican about it, to be honest. But you don't have to always be authentic. As long as you have something on the menu that tastes Mexican, I think a Mexican would be happy, and somebody that's like me that's used to tasting Mexican food is happy. So I'm, I'm happy with this place overall. I taste cilantro, which cilantro is a Mexican ingredient, but overall the flavor profile is not, it's not super Mexican. And the batter really isn't that crunchy, it's kind of soft. I give this one a 4 out of 10. Sorry. Sorry. I really like the first one though. The first one was an 8 out of 10. Mm -hmm. This one's kind of not, not the same.
I don't know if you can see, but there's one passed out over there at the Not Just Coffee. I'm not sure what happened. Heart attack or was drunk before she got here? I'm not sure. But she is she is done for the night. She's clocked out. Her friend's helping her. And I need subscribers. You ever wonder why YouTube channels always ask you to subscribe? It's because, at least in my situation, YouTube says I need 1,000 subscribers to get paid. At all. And I need beyond that to make a reasonable living. So if you like what we do and you want us to go explore the Japan countryside or pal around with some people in Bhutan, then subscribe to our channel and stay well fed.